Good morning from the Legoland Windsor Resort, where the year of the roller coaster continues. So we are here for the opening of Mini Figure Speedway. We are so excited for this. This is definitely what Legoland needed. It's a set of dueling roller coasters, two separate tracks that interact with each other. You've got the huge Mini Figure Roxy and lots of other bits to see around the ride as well. And ultimately, we're really excited to ride it for the first time today. I'm looking forward to actually seeing it go round because we haven't even seen the ride going round yet, so to see it's going to be exciting. That's the thing, like testing actually only started a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we've not had a chance to come down and see it, so it's going to be our first time seeing it in action in person and also riding it today as well. Two completely separate coasters, two coaster credits to experience, and you know what? I feel like this is a great move for Legoland Windsor, opening these two coasters together. Uh, on the hillside as well, we should get some really nice views looking out over that part of the park, and uh, it's going to be a good day. As always, we love capturing the atmosphere of these openings. It's just gone 8.30. We've arrived about 90 minutes prior to the opening at 10 o'clock. So we thought hopefully that gives us time to get down there. It's going to be very busy today. Yeah, when you open a new ride, it's going to be so busy. So at least we'll be down there and can get a ride in. Also, we've heard there's going to be some sort of opening ceremony taking place. So we'll capture that as well. So come and join us here on Theme Park Worldwide for another roller coaster opening here in the UK. It's Minifigure Speedway. <laughs> Have you got your engines tuned up, Charlotte? I have. Oh, sweet man. Oh. <laughs> Unless you do the countdown. Oh. going to minifigure speedway oh, this is it you gotta love the atmosphere of these opening days <laughs> no, let's put it out there we're not going for the first train or anything like that we thought we'll just have a you know not go too fast i'm saying that charlotte's oh, going really quick <laughs> we make our way down luckily it's all downhill this run very excited to get on <laughs> look at this <laughs> You gotta love the atmosphere of an opening day. And like I said at the start of the vlog, year of the roller coaster, you know, so we started with Nemesis a couple of weeks ago, minifigure speedway. <laughs> then of course we've got Hyperia coming up next month. Trey and Manor's roller coaster at some point. Lots going on to be excited for. <laughs> Look at this. So yeah, the entrance is just down there on the left. There's some barriers and things set up. Where's Charlotte? I'm here. Oh, she's there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta love the atmosphere. We gotta go down some steps now. <laughs> oh, a lot of people have slowed down now. <laughs> it's a long way, but down the steps. This is where I like a big slide down here would have been good. <laughs> Are we down for the new ride? <laughs> oh, we're not far now. Oh, past the mole pole. <laughs> we was a little bit worried that it was going to be too windy this morning, so hopefully that's not the case. Strong winds this weekend. There's the race flag. This is it, straight in. Lovely. <laughs> hey, film crew set up. Hey! Film crew set up down there. That's it. Woo! Hey! Got some music as well. I think there's going to be a bit of an opening ceremony. <laughs> we thought we were there at the entrance. For some reason, they're not using the normal entrance to the queue line. We got to come down this way. Follow the flags. Hey! <laughs> there we go. We're coming up this way past the billboard and past Roxy. Oh, that's it. Lovely. The race is on. It was then coming down from the entrance. Here we go. I don't think I oh. You okay, Charlotte? Yeah, okay. It wasn't too bad downhill. <laughs> hey, Yay. excited. Got the Navy Reborn hoodies on as well. Here we go, look at this. Oh, Roxy just up there. It's always exciting when you get up close to new rides for the first time. Lift doors at the top there as well. 
So yeah, two tracks, two coaster credits, two completely separate roller coasters here. Uh, so I see normally this would just be the pathway that you can walk down, but they've got it open as like an extended queue. So it's going to get busy. They're only on a Saturday, a week later than originally planned. But still, we're here and we're looking forward to it. Yeah, they've got a little stage set up down there, so I think there's going to be some sort of opening ceremony from what we've heard. Hot dog man. Taking place. Where is he? Where? Oh, oh, in the queue. Fantastic. There we go, Minifig Speedway. It's got about 20 minutes to go until 10 o'clock when the ride should be opening up. I'm coming. The all good atmosphere build up was waiting just over 15 minutes to go until the opening of this new roller coaster here at Legoland. Got the little hot dog man just down here as well. Got his race flag. I love that all the staff had the little flags as well as we were making our day way down. That really added to the atmosphere. <laughs> I'm loving the minifigures just down here. And yeah, you can see very vibrant all the queue line just here. And there's both the lift hills. When we're going up there, I think we're going to get some brilliant views looking out over the park. Really excited for this. Roxy through the trees just over there. We've not actually seen the coaster going round yet, but hopefully we're going to see that soon. I'm surprised they're not cycling it, actually. Are we excited? Yay! <laughs> Love how they're building up all the hype. Absolutely, absolutely. So, are we all excited to open the ride? Yeah. Okay, well in a few moments time, we're going to do a big countdown to get the ride started and to launch the coaster for the first time for the public. Okay, so we need everyone here to get involved and help us open the ride. Okay? Get it so, are you ready? Yeah. So, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, are we ready for the countdown? We're going to go. Let's do it. Five, four, three. Addition here to Lego Land Windsor. Nice new set of family coasters. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> what a vibe! I like how we've got this kind of crash barrier up here in the queue line, fit with the raceway. And yeah, we've got the two different teams on here. Oh, he is Banana Man. I like how I did it the opening ceremony. That'd be nice. Some good views of the coaster just off to the side there. Loving that. How far does the queue go? Are you ready for fast fun? Lots of information. Roxy, the greatest minifigure of all time, standing at 30 foot tall. Lots of other info here in the queue. The race is on. I see the mansion up there a bit closer. And up into this big queue line just here. Oh, look at the popcorn minifigure. <laughs> Sweet corn as well. That's oh, some good photo ops. That's the merge point just there. Lovely to see the mansion and I reckon obviously once they're finished with all the landscaping around here that uh, blue construction fence will come down. That's all been painted up nice and fresh up there as well. And it's looking really nice. Obviously it needs the landscaping to settle in a little bit around here. 
Absolutely, very excited to give this a go. Nice atmosphere, wasn't it, with the opening there? It was so nice, it's always a great atmosphere on opening day, so everyone's just so excited. And especially when the park are doing the countdowns and everything as well, right? Yeah, it does, just adds to the overall experience. Hey. <laughs> Oh, it's really nice. Hey! <laughs> there we go. That's it. Two. Thank you. Hi. There's Roxy. Oh. Are you excited? Oh, thank you. Ready for go, go, go. I recognise that from from somewhere. This is it. Oh, it's lovely to see that up close. Left girls just over there as well. You kind of got all these crash barriers all around the side fitting with the theme. I can still smell the tarmac. Is that fresh around here? What a view. Oh, that looks great. And you got a little Duplo Dino coaster just down there as well. Oh, we're going to see the coaster side then again just here now. Photo unit just down there. Shutter's not up yet, so maybe that's not ready yet. I'm not too sure. And I reckon this is the exit path down here. And it looks like you get some good views of the coasters from that. Hey. There we go. So a little pause out on the lift hill, ready to go backwards. Nice soundtrack as well, very bouncy. And there's a look over at the station, very colourful. Loving the orange on there. Nice little lights there on the photo unit as well. Like I said, I don't think that's in action today. And yeah, the station's quite high up here. And with the coats being custom built onto the hillside, it's going to provide some really good views. Manufactured by Zera. It's one of their updated force models. It's the first time Zera have done a dueling coaster quite like this. I mean, Vekoma have done a couple of family boomerangs uh, that interact with each other. And then, of course, you've got the one at Wildlands Adventure 2 in the Netherlands. Um, There's a similar layout to this. But, of course, that's from a different manufacturer. So it'll be interesting to see how this rides from Zera. Nice sign down there as well. And this looks like the split-off point for two different teams. So you've got Legends just off there to the left. And then All Stars off to the right. Two different tracks, two different teams on this coaster. Nice little wheel just over here at the merge point with the minifigures on. Oh, look at all those. And you got a couple of different screens just over here as well. And our first ride is going to be on the Legends side. Just over here, All Stars off to the right. Row 9, I think they said. So we're going to be further back on the train as well, which should be good. Thank you. There we go, there's your exit down there. Underneath the lifts. I think this could do with being a little bit more colourful. Just under here, still finishing off construction here. <laughs> Love it. That's the thing with an opening day, you know, you just get the vibes and still finish a little bit off. I'm sure in a couple of weeks the wee uh, landscaping all be finished up there at the top. Come through this little cage here because we're so close to the lift hill. There we go. Hey! Very nice. Hey! Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. That's the little uh, restraints just there. Fantastic. Of course, we're not going to be able to film on the ride. However, we will uh, give you our review when we come off. Fantastic. Team Legends.
actually got on the back row there for minifigure speedway they didn't send anybody down for the back so we thought we'll have it why not like make the most of it of course we'll make our way down here the exit and show you all this before we give you our full review thanks for racing i say full review of course we've got to try the other side first see what that's like um but initial reaction from coming off that this is a really good fun i really enjoyed that for a nice family coaster down here at legoland look at these views from the exit this here and of course the landscaping will all come in round here and it'll uh, get finished off quite nice underneath with some good views of the station roxy and the billboard just over there as well and yeah this will look nice when all the plants grow you can see they've planted a few bushes and things down here yeah it'll look a lot better in a little while but now i was really impressed with that great ride for this park let's go and talk more about it hey some more great views down here on the pathway but yeah normally this won't be part of the queue line obviously it is at the moment with it being opening day it's very busy good views there's roxy yeah so normally you just walk down here and be able to get some good close-up photos with roxy shame they've got the net in front but obviously the track does run over the top just here as well and then you've got the billboard just off to the side fantastic right then so we just had our first ride on minifigure speedway here at legoland windsor first of all fantastic atmosphere for the opening day oh that was brilliant it's always a great atmosphere because everyone's just so excited for the ride everyone's like whooping and cheering <laughs> it's just lovely especially when the park really make a thing of it as well having everybody with the uh, race flags down there the audio the countdown that really added to it. we got the countdown of the turnstiles mm. and then at the ride for the opening at 10 o'clock which is fantastic now in terms of the queue line we'll have a bit of a better look at it and the entrance sign when we head down so obviously it was very busy around there when we were going in uh, from what i could see the entrance of the queue line was quite nice so little touches to the theme as well and uh, the minifigures were cute weren't they oh i like how there's like minifigures <laughs> spotted like all the way around like in the queue and just outside we've got like hot dog man popcorn <laughs> man i think that's really nice and a great photo opportunity yeah lots to look at in the queue line some nice views looking out over towards the ride as well then you get to the merge point where you pick of course which side you're going to go on i'm not too sure if you're going to be able to pick moving forward or if that'll be the members of staff or maybe it'll depend um, on how busy it is in the type of day with it being the opening day probably not gonna let people pick the sides which is understandable we want to get the train sent out as fast as they can do for our first ride we was on team legends hey everyone was, everyone was chanting the station legends legends which was great <laughs> yeah so we were to get to the station we actually walked underneath the lift hill onto the opposite side for the blue track uh, and then in the station itself it's quite a large station it's raised up onto the hillside um, a little bit bare in places i think it could do with a little bit more i think maybe in the ceiling they could do with like some flags or some banners of like the minifigures because it does feel like it's a very open space but there's not a lot going on in there so hopefully we can work on that in the future it's nice how colorful it is in there it though is. and it's clear that it's not finished yet you know there's some finishing touches to do some landscaping you can see they were still moving a bit of construction machinery uh it's already been a week delayed they probably just wanted to get it open for the last week of the east holidays uh, and then of course they can focus on finishing it off and do some more landscaping and hopefully some more theming around um, in the station even just some more flags hanging Something. up uh, and that sort of thing in terms of the trains uh, of course two completely separate coasters 20 riders per train and the good thing with the design of it as well it can seat 40 in total um, which also means from a throughput point of view it should be pretty good um, at getting them trains out and the trains look the part didn't they yeah i think the trains are really nice they're so colorful and they're nice and spacious as well with two adults fitting in there we wasn't tight we had loads of room to move which was great yeah i was really a big fan of that the restraints from zero are really comfortable as well there's a simple lap bar uh, individual lap bars that come down on each rider uh, and then we go on to the ride experience itself starting off then making our way backwards um, out of the station and up the lift hill because we were actually down there at the back we got some brilliant views didn't we the views across the park were really good we knew the views were going to be good but they were excellent it was amazing like going up backwards and then looking over the whole park you could see like mythica fire and ice free fall down there uh, look across the whole park which was really nice and then across to windsor heathrow airport in brilliant. the distance it was a similar view to what you get when you walk in at the top entrance of the park so i thought that was lovely and really made it and then of course you got the interaction with the other train on the other side uh, and then we're off to, down straight through the station and into the various different elements that make up this ride um, it was clear to us from the start that the highlight was definitely the interaction with the other train oh the interaction was great when you both went over at the same time but because it was slow it really made it because you got that interaction element everyone was waving and smiling at each other i think that's a really good element i've always liked dueling coasters and that aspect and it's something you don't really see that mm -hmm. often so i thought the fact they brought them here to legoland and the dueling coasters uh, was really good and very enjoyable and certainly 
added to the overall experience of it, kind of dipping in and out and seeing the other riders, going through the billboard, creating quite a near miss element on there as well. In terms of the speed of it, uh, it is a family roller coaster. You know, don't expect it to be this big, fast thrill ride, but for Legoland, it is the fastest ride in the park, and you can certainly feel that, especially when it comes backwards through the layout. So, of course, at first you're going through it forwards, uh, making your way around the drops, the big helix, uh, and then kind of back up um, onto the same structure, support structure, that holds up um, the initial lift hill. You've then got the secondary lift hill, of course, where you're looking up towards the sky and then coming down backwards. What I found was brilliant, the intensity. I wasn't expecting there to be like much force or intensity, but going backwards, there really was. There was, especially towards the back of the train. We're really getting the push round, and uh, that certainly really added to the experience. Of course, we've got to try all stars yet and see what the other side's like. Uh, but overall, a really nice addition to Legoland Windsor. Uh, and some more thrills on there than we we're expecting. But the highlights were definitely the interaction, definitely. the racing elements of it, and the fact our side won as well, which was yeah. nice. Hey. And then also uh, the views looking out over the park. And uh, yeah, towards Windsor itself. Let's head back around the corner then. Go and have a close look at the entrance and uh, get some more shots of Minifigure Speedway on its opening day here at Legoland Windsor. Oh, look what we've got just over here. A lovely fan of the channel made me and Sean in Lego form. This is so cute, I love it. Perfect for the opening of Minifigure Speedway as well. <laughs> I've got the camera just there. Fantastic, Oh, So sweet, I love that. We've got that <laughs> laptop and stuff, I love that. So thank you so much. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Good to see Skyrider back in action down here as well now. I'll have to have a ride on there because you get a nice kind of aerial look over towards the coaster. And that's the thing from here, it doesn't look that high, but it's perfect how it's been built onto the hillside. Really nice kind of terrain layout for the park. Hey, <laughs> great atmosphere around here. We've got the Banana Man out just down here as well. We'll have a closer look down at the entrance here now. Yeah, they put this little stage up and everything for the opening. A lot of effort for the opening day, which I really like. Appreciate that so much. <laughs> Like 45 minutes after opening and they're still going. This is how to do a coaster opening, really good. I fully endorse Team All Stars. these down here at the entrance as well and here's another close-up look at the entrance here to Mini Feet Speedway. Fantastic, let's go and have another ride. The question is, are you tall enough to race? The minimum height restriction as you can see is 1.05 meters just down there and then of course guess between the height of 1.05 and 1.3 must be accompanied by an adult 16 plus. And back here then at the merge points, ready for our ride on All Stars, the other side. Yeah, we got lucky and they put us on this side anyway, so we didn't have to ask. Let's uh, go for it, looking forward to it. Here we are, let's see what it's like on this side. Hey, oh, I love the train design, really cool. And the orange train is my favourite. Let's see how the orange side compares. All Stars. How close you get to the track just here. Obviously, that's why this has all been designed just here with the covers over. There we go. Here comes the train. Oh, look at that. Congratulations to the All Stars. What a awesome race! It was so Oh, I like how you get the announcement as well. All Stars won that time. Let's go and see if we win. I mean, we won when we was on Legends first. Yeah, really nice. Look at the odd cabin as well. Like, it's huge. Oh, look at that with the glass all the way across. That's a nice operator's cabin, that is. So you got the screens at the side and the announce who's the winner on those and also with the announcement. Yeah, in terms of what we were saying in the middle here, maybe just something hanging down would be nice. Just some banners and maybe different minifigures, that sort of thing. But you have got some down here at the side. It's a nice close-up views of the track just over here too. Lovely. You've got the lift hills just up there. Right, Mrs. we'll see when we come off. Your captains are revved up.
Gents, we just had our second ride on Minifigure Speedway and we got the all-star side, so it was really good to experience that and of course compare it to Legends. Uh, I really enjoyed that. It feels like it's warmed up actually since that first ride that we had on there as well. Or maybe it was that side that was a little faster and more intense. Uh, I'm not too sure, but you know what? It's a really good addition to Legoland Windsor. What a fun coaster. The interaction with the train, everybody cheering and waving. And I don't think it's just because it's the opening day. It's going to be like that all the time, just that interaction between the trains. The views again were good from that one, but I just thought that the layout and the elements um, on that one were a lot better than on the Legends side. But uh, yeah, I'm all stars all the way for me. And I think the track colour is really nice as well. Uh, I preferred the orange kind of as you're making your way down the queue line. Uh, I thought that was really good. And it was great to uh, get on both sides there as well. No better destination unknown down here, of course, with it being the opening day. And yeah, there's a little bit of merchandise over here. So let's have a little look and see what they've got in this small shop just by, by the ride's entrance. And here's a look at the merchandise on sale. So you've got the hoodie just there, which is quite nice, with Minifigure Speedway's logo on. Some caps up there at the top as well. And also the t-shirts off to the side as well. Yeah, prices vary really between 20 and 30 pounds for the different items. Oh, what a great atmosphere here at Legoland Windsor for the official opening of Minifigure Speedway. 45 minute wait now this afternoon. So not too bad for a new coaster on its opening day. now on minifigure speedway i'm just going to come up here on skyrider just so we can get a nice view from above looking out of the coasters in fact there they are going round this was closed when we came a few weeks ago at the start of the season so we thought it'd be a nice opportunity just to get an aerial view because yeah you look right down over the queue line entertainment just down there as well really nice as the coasters going round it's completely changed the dynamic over this part of the park in my opinion it's a lot better than it was before just created a really nice atmosphere up here now this part of the park always felt very quiet and not really much going on. Whereas now, look at this. There's the coasters going round. Or your queue line just there as well. Very colourful. And the station all raised up there nicely. Yeah, earlier on the queue was all the way down here this morning. And we've still got it set up just in case. But I doubt they'll be needing that extension. It'll probably be staying most of the time up there in the official queue line. The race is on. Another ride opens here in 2024 in the UK. Oh, look at Roxy. <laughs> She's great from up here. Got a racing helmet on as well. What a great ride. Really enjoy getting on that today. And of course, today's vlog has been focusing on Minifigure Speedway. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out our full part vlog from a few weeks ago where we went around Miniland just here and on all of our other favourite rides here at the park. And now we're going to make our way up towards the exit. Well, that brings us to the end of the official opening day of Minifigure Speedway here at Legoland Windsor. It has been a fantastic day, hasn't it? I have really enjoyed it. To see these coasts at Legoland is fantastic. It's definitely what the park needed for capacity. It's something that they've been needing for a long time. You may remember the old jungle coast that got removed many years ago, uh, down at the bottom end of the park where they built the Castle Hotel. And since then, there's been a real gap here at Legoland to have a bit of a bigger coaster than the Dragon. Uh, and this is fitting beautifully here. It's a lovely location on the hillside as well the two tracks interacting with each other it's just so much fun like the overall experience oh it's great isn't it yeah it's just like sean said it is a fun coaster the interaction that you're getting from the other people on the other train is just great waving about it's brilliant <laughs> there's some good forces on the coaster as well um some nice drops especially going backwards as well surprisingly intense it really it pushes you back um into your seat on there it's certainly the most thrilling ride here at legoland windsor and a really good addition and the only thing they need to improve on now is just a bit more landscaping yeah. around possibly a bit more theming in the station um, but it's one of them it's still not fully finished yet uh, it was already a week delayed you thought let's get it open i think uh, and then they can finish the landscaping and add a couple more bits as well like we said earlier you can still smell the fresh tarmac but i'm glad that it opened at least for part of the easter holiday and we've really enjoyed coming down here for it uh, like i said just make sure you check out our full lego land vlog if you haven't already seen it and uh, there we go we've done the opening of nemesis reborn at alton towers the opening of minifigure speedway the next big opening here in the uk it's hyperia oh i am so 
very excited. I just cannot <laughs> wait for Hyperion. In the meantime, though, we're heading out for the opening day of Voltron Nevera yes. out at Europa Park in Germany in a few weeks, and uh, so much more coming up. Check out our live stream from a few days ago where we talk about our three upcoming abroad spring trips. But from me and Charlotte here at Legoland, that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, Get out there and keep on riding. riding. Goodbye.